Hello, Cricketers, and welcome to Cricketing with Delanda. It's me again, Delanda, and thank you so much for joining me today. In this quick tutorial, I will be showing you Cricut Design Space's newest feature, which is the automatic background remover. I will be showing you two different ways to remove a background from a photo and how to use their newest feature. All right, so without further ado, we will be right here in Cricut Design Space for this full tutorial, but I'm glad you joined me and hopefully you will learn something new. Um, if not, if you are an expert at using the background remover tool, you can give me some tips. I welcome all tips down in the comments and I appreciate any feedback you are willing to give me. So without further ado, let's get started. I am in Cricut Design Space and what I'd like to do is show you two ways to remove a background. So I know with the new background removal, background removal feature within the Cricut Design Space updates, you have one option. There's also another option. So I'll show you theirs. I'll show you theirs first. Okay, so I am going to um, upload an image and i am choosing to upload this image of myself um, so i will upload it as a complex image because it does have plenty of fine details in it it has a christmas tree right there in the background okay so within cricut design space new their new background remover feature if you are a cricut access member you can just click the automatic button to remove it automatically and it'll do all the work for you and it'll you can even preview it to see what it'll look like so if i click preview okay it'll show me what it will look like if i allow um cricut um, access to remove the background for me okay so it shows me that if i wanted to go with it this is what it would look like i still have a piece of the chair right here behind it and i have this little piece right here so if i wanted to use cricut access if, you know you'd have to pay for the membership this is what it would look like and i still have a little bit of cleaning up to do right here not much cleaning up to do um so let me revert back oh i can even preview it right here i can click preview to see what my cut image would look like okay so let me revert it back to the original image and let me just go ahead and try to remove it and clean it up as much as i can okay so i'm going to click on the select button to manually select it because i'm not a cricut access member and just start to remove the background um, parts of this photo that I don't want. Okay, so all I'm doing is just clicking with my mouse and getting as close as I can. So it looks like I removed some of my hat, my cap. Let me restore that because, you know, I don't want to remove the cap and let me try to clean it up as good as I can. Okay, all right, let me go back to continue removing the background. I don't want the Christmas tree. I don't want any of that. I don't want the floor. Okay, and at this point, you know, to make sure that I don't mess up anything with the photo, I will click the erase button. And when I do that, I can, you know, change the size of the eraser. I can go all the way down. I can go up. And what that does is changes the tip of the size that I want to erase. So right now the eraser size is on 28. I could make it a little bit bigger. Let's say if I go to 38. Okay. It just made the tip of the eraser a little bit bigger for me to remove more of the pieces that I that I don't want. I could even go, let's go to 58. Okay. So I'm making it much bigger and I'm just removing everything from the background that I don't want. And I'm just doing my best not to get too close to the actual, to myself in the picture so that I don't have to restore anything. Okay. All right. I'm cleaning it up, cleaning it up as good as I can. Okay, and I can even make my view bigger to make sure that I, you know, get into the 
find spaces. Okay, and at this point, I should probably be using a smaller um, tip. Let's see. Okay, I don't need any of that. Let me make the tip smaller. I'll just keep cleaning this up. Clean up, clean up. I used to sing that song with my children. Okay, I'm cleaning up all of this. I don't want any of this. Okay. Cleaning it up. All right. I'll speed this part up. Okay, so now I have it as clean as I can get it. I'm going to click apply and continue. Okay, and if I was uploading this as a cut image, I see all of this over here that needs to be trimmed out, but I am going to upload this as a print then cut image. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and add it to my canvas. Right now it's on 100%, let me bring it down, okay? And that's what this would look like if I was going to put this, you know, on a shirt or on whatever I was planning to use it on. If I was planning to use it as a sticker, I could do that, okay? So this is what my print then cut image would look like. And let me go ahead and label this. Um, I'm gonna label it with back, Round mover tool. Okay. And let's make that big. Okay, so this is what it will look like with the background remover tool. Oh, that spacing is not so good and let's change the color of it to red and let's let's group that okay so this is what it will look like with the Cricut Design Space background remover tool now let me show you another option for Removing the background from a photo, I will use the same exact photo and I will upload it a different way. Okay. okay, so what the next thing I'll do is I'll go to a website that is called remove.bg. And in this website, I will upload the same image that I just showed in Cricut Design Space. So I'm gonna go and upload an image. It's the same image I just showed you. I'll click open. Okay, and it removed the background for me. So now that the background is has been removed, I can download it and then go back to Cricut Design Space and upload it. And I will show you. Okay, I'm back in Cricut cool. Design Space. I'm going to upload the image that I just downloaded from remove.bg and I'll know that it's the one that I'm talking about because I can see in my files it says remove.bg. I'm going to upload it as a complex um, image. I'm gonna click continue. I don't have to do anything over here because it's already very, very clean. Okay, I'll click apply and continue. I'll upload it as a print then cut image and so this was the one that I uploaded earlier that I cleaned up myself. And you can see I did not, obviously I didn't do a good job. And this is the one from remove.bg. Okay, so it came in a little bit small, but I can make it big. Let's see, I wanna make it the same. Let me ungroup this and make it the same size as this one. So 11.678, so 11, let me unlock it, 11. 
Well, what size was this? Uh, 15.03, 15.0, what was it? 15.083, 15.083. Okay, so this is what it looks like from remove.bg. This is what it looks like when I did it from Cricut Design Space. And, um, you know, I don't know if it's because I'm not that good at um, cleaning up the file or if, you know, just using, I'm just so used to using remove.bg. I like the, you know, it cleaned up, it got all in every little area for me and I didn't have to do anything to it. All I just did was upload it. So let me add my text. And this is from remove.bg. Okay. And ooh, made that a little bit too big. Let me unlock it and make it bigger. And let me change the color of it to let me change the color of it to purple. Okay. Okay. So now you can see both at the same time. And just know that you have options. All right. Thank you so much for joining me today. And thanks for watching. Bye.